There's a lot of change coming. People watch television differently. Um, uh, not news or, or, or business, but entertainment, they watch very differently. Uh, we're seeing that with the emergence of new companies. Uh, Silicon Valley is now beginning to spend tens and tens of billions on entertainment programming. So uh, it makes sense. That was 21st Century Fox's executive chairman, Rupert Murdoch, on Disney's $52.4 billion plus deal to acquire 21st Century Fox's entertainment assets. The deal involves a film and television studio, some cable and international TV businesses, but not Fox, Bro Fox Broadcasting Network and stations like Fox News or Fox Business Network. Amid this news, shares of 21st Century Fox and Disney both ended the day in the green. Let's bring in our money managers, Michael Lee with Investmark Advisory and Melissa Arma with a stock swoosh. Wow, this is a game changer, guys. What did you think, uh, Mr. Lee? Um, interesting deal here, a uh, huge deal. Uh, 93 billion if you include the overseas assets and the debt, um, but it leaves a lot of question marks. Like, why is Disney doubling down on legacy media and cable assets? Why aren't they uh, aggressively going forward with the rest of the world? Um, I, I think there's a ton of questions as to whether or not this deal will get will get done. Um, by buying uh, FX and the regional sports networks, what they're looking to do is doubling down for pricing power uh, on the albatross that is ESPN, which has been dragging the stock down. Um, it also drags uh, the price higher on everybody's cable bills, making it harder for skinny bundles. That's interesting. Uh, well, Melissa, you know, it, the future is about live TV. It's about streaming. What do you see here in the trends in the media industry? I think this is a great buy for Disney. I mean, one of the things is that Di last time Disney made a new high in its stock was in August of 2015. It's a very long time ago. Remember, the market's been bullish ever since the election. Disney had a huge move today, ran up $4. Disney is a buy. It's a buy today, it's a buy tomorrow. If this goes through, then Disney could go to 150 in the next 12 to 24 months. And Disney has been lagging, like I said, even though the stock has been an uptrend. Fox got a nice pop today. Disney got a nice pop today. Disney sees the writing on the wall for the future, which is, guess what? They've got to start to compete with the Netflixes of the world, the streaming, the over-the-top content online. They've got to get yeah, with it. So that's buying a great the, point. Yeah, buying the film, that the TV and film studios of Fox, this is a huge win for Disney. I mean, you know, Disney is going to be a media giant. Yeah, to Melissa's point, Mike, I mean, people come home, they don't watch cable anymore. They turn on Netflix. Maybe, what do you think about Disney? Disney maybe one day buying Netflix or Apple buying Netflix. You know, I mean, Netflix is dead. Twenty billion swamps its net worth. So that's off the balance sheet total. In what what I would say is. Um if Disney was going to buy Netflix, they should have bought Netflix and not Fox assets, right? So if Disney was going to be really aggressive, they would be putting $100 billion into content only with no strings attached. Um, this is going to be trouble for them. I, I don't see this working. I, I don't know if this deal will go through, and no one will, for 12 to 18 months. And then after that, it's going to take you know 6 to 12 months to integrate with okay. all sorts of layoffs. So I, I'm, I'm nowhere near as positive as, uh, as okay, everybody else. Okay, so Michael, I'll write it down. You're a negative, and Melissa, you're a positive. Thank Check you both. Positive. Check the positive. <laughs> Thank you so much. We're going to have Thanks. more after the break. Stay right there.